Okie dokie, time to start cooking over here. There's Pat Dowd's elbow. Good morning, Pat. All right, we're in the kitchen with Kent Johnson from Havana Nights Jazz and Cigar Club in Virginia Beach. Nothing goes unnoticed here on the show. We'll just call it right out, even the things that aren't supposed to happen. All right. Just draw attention to it. But we're glad you're back. Glad to, to be back. Cook Thank for you. us. If the president needs to, you know, eat lunch or dinner while he's in Hampton Roads, maybe they'll stop by and have uh, what you're making today. Yeah, I haven't gotten a security check yet, but uh, <laughs> we'll see. Um, so well, I have some, make... do some pan-seared salmon, mm -hmm. uh, some Atlantic salmon. Okay. Yeah, and what are the ingredients here? We're just, we're not going to, we can't start yet. We're just going to oh, okay. what we're making. Sorry, I'm jumping the gun. It's okay. Uh, we have some shaved fennel, mm -hmm. some slow roasted tomatoes, orange segments, uh, gremolata, and going to make a citrus bar blanc to go with this. All right, sounds good, and we will get started in just a second. Okay. Welcome back to the Hampton Road Show. There's our live studio audience. We're going to be talking about Bay Days in a bit after we hear the buzz with Chris and Arion. But first, before any of that, in the Hampton Road Show kitchen today, Kent Johnson is back from Havana Nights Jazz and Cigar Club in Virginia Beach to make that pan-seared salmon. Mm -hmm. Interesting ingredients to um, work with today with the shaved fennel and the slow-roasted tomatoes. So we're going to go ahead and let you get started. All right. Uh, this is our fresh catch preparation, so if we don't have salmon, it can be anything else, and mm -hmm. this trades out every couple of days. Um, so we have the salmon. I already seasoned that because I was jumping the gun earlier. Well, that's all right. Just uh, a little salt on there. Right. Uh, fresh cracked black pepper. Mm -hmm. Got our pan nice and hot. Now, are you saying if salmon wasn't the freshest thing that day at the restaurant that you would do the same thing you're going to do with the salmon would work with other fishes? Sure, yeah. This okay. would work with rockfish, wahoo. Swordfish, think, tuna. I mean, if it works with salmon, which is pretty flavorful, then it would work with something that's flavor was not as strong. Yeah, yeah. This is just a nice, uh, light preparation. Okay. Um, even though I am using quite a bit of butter, but uh, I wasn't gonna say anything, Kent. There you go. Now, is this gonna be finished in the oven? Because those are. Yeah, I got. I have the oven set about 350. Okay. Um, you could do this all the way in the pan, but it would require much more time at much lower heat. Mm -hmm. So get that going. Nice sear on that. Mm -hmm. And now, we'll start the ragu on the back. You are a relatively new restaurant. Not brand new, but relatively new yeah, in the pretty area. New. But pretty we need to remind folks that you're in the Weston Hotel mm -hmm. in Virginia Beach. So a lot of folks coming down, a lot of excitement about Town Center in that area. So yeah. folks probably should make a reservation. It's not a huge restaurant, is it? No, it's very small. Uh, Two venues open to the public, but they're both very small and mm -hmm. fill up quickly, especially on weekends. Okie dokie. Now you know. All right. So, let's see if this gets some color on it. Mm -hmm. That can go a little bit longer. Okay. Um, start the ragu on the back. Mm -hmm. A little bit more butter. Now, how did you come up with this recipe? I'm sorry? How did you come up with this recipe, or why did, why did you choose This is something that's it? uh, been with me for a while, mm -hmm. and it's uh, worked worked for me in the past, and these are just flavors I love that uh, I think go with fish really well. Mm -hmm. Of all the ingredients that you brought, shaved fennel may be the one that people have not worked with before. What should they know? Um, in its raw state, it has a really strong licorice flavor mm -hmm. um, that might turn some people off. But okay. once you cook it, that mellows considerably. Okay. And uh, so it's... It's still it there. Like an onion? I'm sorry. You know how when you cook onions, they're not as yeah. Same strong. kind of same kind of principle. Okay. So it looks like the fish is fitting there. Well, that does like, look good. Nice color on that. Mm -hmm. And this will go in the oven, 350. That's about an eight ounce piece. I'd say depending on how much you want to cook, mm -hmm. uh, five to seven minutes. Yeah. I like a good medium, mid rare. Salmon is supposed to be a little bit opaque in the uh, middle there. Yeah. I, I mean, in, uh, for my preference, yes. But other okay. people want it more well done or All less well through. done. Or Okay. All right, but at least doing it, searing it, putting it in the oven, even if you do like it well done, it won't, shouldn't get too dry. No. All no. right. All right, we'll see. When we come back, we're going to keep working on, uh, I don't want to call it a garnish, a sauce, a topping. What would you call it for the salmon? Garnish would be good. You used a fancier word. Garnish sounds good. Okay. I like that. All right, we'll go with that. And we'll uh, make it up when we come back. Okay. Yeah. All right, we're back in the Hampton Road Show kitchen. Chef Ken Johnson from Havana Nights Jazz and Cigar Club in Virginia Beach, right inside the Westin Hotel. Quaint little restaurant there, very romantic setting. Lights are yes. low. Very. Uh, so um, the salmon is out of the oven. It's looking good. And yep. tell us a little bit more about this fennel and tomato mandarin orange creation you've got uh, going uh, 
sauteed this, the mm -hmm. fennel first. The tomatoes, we do those ahead of time. Those, it's a really slow roast, uh, 200 degrees for about two hours. Mm -hmm. um, really intensifies and sweetens the tomatoes. Uh, Deglaze that with some white wine, added a little bit of butter. Uh, made a quick butter wine sauce. This is gremolata, mm -hmm. just parsley, shallots, and uh, citrus zest. Okay. You know, and speaking of the citrus, it looks like that oranges have not gone on yet. No, not They're yet. They're not going yet. They're right at the end, I'll throw them in. Right at the end. Because okay. if you throw them in now, they just turn to mush. Okay. Well, I mean, that's why you're the expert. I want to bring in another expert from the Havana Nights uh, Jazz Club Cigar Bar. Uh, Dana Rice joins me now to talk more about what's going on there in terms of the entertainment scene and the atmosphere. Yes, we have a, a beautiful little 36-seat uh, jazz club, a very, again, a very intimate setting, uh, themed on uh, many of the jazz clubs in New York. I, I used to live in New York. Uh, we feature live music. We've had live music in the jazz club every single night since the day we were opened last December. And our music director, uh, John Toomey, uh, is a wonderful uh, addition to our, our, our club there. He arranges for all the entertainment. Mm -hmm. uh, before John arrived at Old Dominion University, he actually played, toured, and recorded with Maynard Ferguson. Mm -hmm. So he knows jazz musicians all over the world. In fact, this is a little picture of his trio, and he invited in Gary Thomas a few months back. Gary is a member of the Herbie Hancock Quartet and played with Miles Davis for two years. Uh, this month, we're going to be doing our live first live recording CD from Havana Nights we actually set the acoustical values to accommodate live recording and we have uh, Glenn Wilson and John Dorth are going to be coming in on September 26th 27th and 28th to uh, record the first live CD from Havana Nights so if anybody wants to be a part of that history we welcome you in in September. That's pretty amazing, but don't wait because you said 36 seats. This isn't like other live recordings that you're thinking happen in huge venues and stadiums and things like that. Yeah, these artists, once a month we have a headliner. In fact, a lot of people are saving the date. Uh, this past month we had Nikki Perot flew her in from New York. Nikki was um, Les Paul's vocalist in New York for 10 years. Mm -hmm. So we've had some amazing talent. The last 13 weeks, the Jazz Club has sold out every single show, every single Friday night, every single Saturday night. However, if you were to have called for a reservation earlier that day, you would have been able to get in. Okay, good to know. And something else that's good to know, thank you very much, Dana. We're going to drift back over here, uh, and here's all the information, too, if you would like to take part in that. Another reason it's so popular is you can get dinner until 1 o'clock in the morning, which is fantastic. Yes. Dishes like the one that you have prepared here today. So is it finishing finishing touches time? I see you put the man yeah, in order. Yeah, pretty much done. Um, I uh, just uh, added, put the uh, fennel tomato and uh, beurre blanc in there, added the uh, orange segments right at the end. Salmon goes on top and a little bit more gremolata. Bourbon blanc. That was yes. the word that was escaping me yes, earlier butter when wine I sauce, said that's uh, all it means. garnish. Bourbon blanc. Okay, that's all right. Sounds so much better than butter wine. Yeah, it sounds better. In all right, don't forget Havana Nights is open Monday through Thursday. <clears throat> Excuse me, 11 a.m. to 12 a.m. Fridays and Saturdays, though, they're open until 2 o'clock in the morning. Kitchen's open until 1 o'clock in that great jazz music. Sundays, 11 to 10 p.m. And again, they're at Town Center. Reservations are strongly recommended both for the Jazz Club as well as the Caribbean Room. And this weekend, again, Stephanie Nication will appear at the Har with the Harris Simon Trio at the Jazz Club. The website, again, HavanaNightsVB.com or 800-301-CUBA.